Hi there, I am going to keep talking about transitions. Um, and what I wanted to show was some of the parameters of the transition. So transition, let's say we're doing uh, fade. So here to pass your parameters, you're going to have two uh, squiggly brackets. And most of them are going to have a delay possibility. So 2,000 milliseconds will be two seconds. And then a duration, so maybe it'll be like that. So now it's going to fade in. It's going to wait 2,000 seconds. So I clicked it, but it's going to wait two seconds. And then it's going to fade out for three seconds. So usually you wouldn't want that long of a delay because then the user can't really tell if they've done anything. And they'll just keep clicking it. But that's one thing you can do. So usually it might be like maybe 500. OK, and you can come to the uh, API. This felt API has got fade, and it shows you all the parameters. So fade just has delay, duration, Fly, you're going to have to put an X and a Y so it knows where to fly from, and it has opacity, and you can see slide and scale. Um, another thing to be aware of is that you cannot put something on a component. So if I imported these all into app.svelte, and I try to say I want my circle to transition slide equals that, uh, it's going to say transitions can only be applied to DOM elements, not components. So I have to put the transition directly on a div, like an actual HTML element. It can't be a component. And then the other thing here I wanted to show you was the drawing transition, which I'm not really good enough with this to be able to use. But I just picked, I just found a cert, uh, found a star off the internet, an uh, SVG star. And then this is pretty much doing the same thing as before. But you'll see it can draw like that. So duration I put as 2,000. It does a, something weird up here if you look. I don't know what that's about and if you can fix it or not. But, uh, yep, that's draw. Okay, that's all.